and your Monday just got half for your age cuties. I'm your host Sarah Priebus and what a crazy weekend it's been here at HQ. Maybe you heard about the rumors swirling online late last night. Well, I can finally address the gossip from all of us here at HQ. Yes, Fifth Harmony broke up. They released a statement today saying they're taking a break and we all know that means break up. That's what everyone is talking about, right? Right? Anyway, it's time to get to work, work, work. You don't gotta go to work, work, work. Okay. There are 646,000 of you here. Yes, 650,000 of you competing against each other live right now. You don't need to form a music group with strangers through a TV singing competition. You could win some money on your phone. It's way better. You're gonna have to answer 12 questions with 10 seconds. If you get them all right, then you'll win today's prize, which is $5,000. Yeah, that's right. $5,000. Who's going to be mad at that? Not me. It's not my money, but it could be yours. Let's get started. Q1. What meal combines elements of breakfast and lunch? Liner, subsert, or brunch? So it's kind of like my favorite exercise, which is a cross between a lunge and a crunch. Lunch. It rhymes with lunch. The correct answer is brunch. Yeah, you love to brunch. I know you do. It's definitely my favorite meal. 656,426 of you got that. Well, ever since Dr. Frederick Brunch demonstrated his prototype to a skeptical royal society, people have enjoyed Eggs Benny, Bloody Marys, and Smooth Jazz as they wrestle with that Sunday crossword. Okay, we made that up. There's no Dr. Frederick Brunch. Q2. What is the name of the roller coaster feature that takes riders around in a complete circle? Lose the hat, loop the loop, or cry the tears. My favorite part of a roller coaster are the pics that they take at the scariest part. My face looks kind of like, ah, that. <laughs> Hands up the whole time, crew, get at me. The correct answer is loop the loop. Yeah, you're going like that. 635,618 of you got that. The loop-the-loop -loop causes you to go upside down. I hope this question didn't make too many of you cry the tears. This quiz is like a roller coaster for all of us. I got butterflies right now. Q3. What is the common symptom of a deviated septum? Snoring, hearing loss, or rapid heartbeat? I definitely went through a phase where I wanted a septum piercing. Kind of like HQ's bad girl. <laughs> The correct answer is <sighs> snoring. Yeah, 559,467 of you knew that. Your septum, it's that wall between the nostrils. When it's deviated, it can block a nasal passage because it's harder to breathe through your nose. I do have a deviated septum, but I don't snore, no matter what anyone tells you, okay? Q4. Who is the youngest current Supreme Court justice? Elena Kagan. Sonia Sotomayor, or Neil Gorsuch. When I meet people who are younger and more accomplished than me, I object, Your Honor. The correct answer is Neil Gorsuch. Yeah. 180,098 of you. So, he's the most recent addition to the Supreme Court and also the youngest. Neil Gorsuch still doesn't qualify for that sweet senior discount at the movies. He's a spring chicken at 50. I hope I'm still a spring chicken at 50. Q5. The military unit responsible for the Pope's safety is composed of citizens of what country? Switzerland, Italy, or Vatican City? Who follows the Pope on Twitter? I keep hoping he'll post some cat memes, cat hashtags, or anything cat. Come on, Pope. Correct answer is Switzerland. Swiss, Swiss, miss. Yeah, 51,498 of you got that. The group in question is known as the Pontifical Swiss Guard in recognition of their history with the Swiss and because present day members must be Catholic men with Swiss citizenship. Q6. 
Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance gets its name from an earlier book about what? Archery, bicycling, or gardening? Oh, Zen. My Zen is my sound machine, that white noise, and my cat suffocating me. I find it oddly relaxing. The correct answer is archery. Yeah, 9,982 of you got that, but we have our first savage question of the day at Q6. Oh man, guys, Mondays are hard enough already. Why did we have to throw a savage question in the mix? I'm feeling your pain, I am. So Zen in the Art of Archery has inspired many a book title, and thanks to famous fan Phil Jackson, Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance might have inspired championship for the Kobe Bryant LA Lakers. Q7. An annual holiday at Emory University features students being led out of class by what? Skeleton, peach mascot, or male cheerleaders? If it got me out of class, I'd take any of these. In the spring, you often see people dressing up as the Easter Bunny, but at Emory, they dress up as Halloween skeletons. Yeah, the correct answer is skeleton. 3,603 of you in that uh, for the celebration known as Dooley's Week. If you're visited by a student dressed as Dooley the Skeleton, your professor must dismiss you from class. Dooley, can you swing by some HQD offices? I feel like y'all need a break, right? A day off? Q8. Which of these cities was founded two separate times? Rome, Zurich, or Buenos Aires? It's the city so nice, they founded it twice. When I went here, I ate steak way more than twice. The correct answer is Buenos Aires. You know they make the good steaks there. 1,054 of you got that. Buenos Aires was founded first in 1536 when Pedro de Mendoza had a fort built overlooking the Rio de la Plata. However, Mendoza was forced to flee when local tribes took over, so it was established permanently in 1580. Q9. Which concept is at the core of a dance style named for Martha Graham? Contraction and release, lock and leap, or point and step? What about the Sarah Priebus dance move? The tripping and falling and pretending it was on purpose. Do any of you do that? It's a classic for me. The correct answer is contraction and release. 293 people dancing on to the next one. Martha Graham, possibly the most influential choreographer of the 20th century, pioneered contraction and release. It's a movement based on the act of breathing, which I forget to do a lot of times when I'm hosting HQ. Maybe you forget too. Q10. Which of these is not a breed of duck? Green Marsh, Silver Bantam. I like Dr. French. It might sound daffy, but Silver Bantam and Welsh Harlequin are both ducks. Yes, silly goose. We're quacking on to Q11. Which of these is the name of one of the moons of the largest planet in our solar system? Kale, Coriander, or Vega? I was always partial to Sailor Moon. She's kind of like a, a fashion icon for me. Cute clothes. The correct answer is Kale. Yeah, 33 of you got that. And we have another savage question right on Q11. Oh, guys, you're still HQ to full of me. It's okay, but oh, I, I really do feel your pain. I'm sorry. It's not just something you can drench in oil and turn into healthy chips. Just eat the real thing. Kale is also a small moon that orbits Jupiter. It was discovered in 2001, and it wasn't named after the veggie. Kale is the daughter of Zeus. And this is it. The final question. Who's blasting out of the HQ universe to plan a victory? Who's going to be able to afford their kale chips today? It's Q12. What startup's name came from the co-founder watching a Fellini movie? Vimeo, 
Twilio, or Etsy. The founder of this company wanted a nonsense word for his startup. I relate. I spout a lot of nonsense here on HQ. Twilio was part of a regular old brainstorming session. Nothing Fellini about that. Etsy sounds like Italian. Etsy means oh yes. What is it that? Vimeo, a website for sharing videos, is short for video plus me. So the creator of Etsy was watching Fellini's eight and a half, and that is where he got the name Etsy for the win. 27 winners, yes, way to go. Congratulations to all 27 of you taking home the money today. That's a way to start off your Monday, huh? Far, far. That's a cool logo. Um, I don't know what it is, but $185 to you. Eee! Screaming eee! And celebrating a win. Joyce Casey, I'm definitely saying that wrong. Get yourself an avatar. I want to see what you look like. Dan Balk, you too. Get on that. $185 is not something to bulk at, though. And we've got Evan, but that's a really cool spelling, and you're just glowing there from that cool little ice cube, huh? That game went by way too fast. 27 of you are buying personalized mugs on Etsy that say, proud mom of HQ winner right now. Thanks to everyone for playing. I had a lot of fun. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus. Don't forget to send me how far you got. I'd love to cheer you on. Also, your thoughts on the scandalous eHarmony. And by eHarmony, I mean Fifth Harmony breakup. We'll be back tonight and every night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. You just made my Monday a fun day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>